So working on this strange villa, which is giving me an issue with the chassis. It's an intermittent issue, so anytime you are driving it, you will get this fault code. It is uh, intermittent with the left rudder. So what I've done is uh, with the left. So I took the left socket out and checked the live data for the left. So this is the left and this is the right. The moment I took the right socket out, now I'm reading 5 volts, but the left socket, I've taken it out, but I'm still reading 0 0.8 volt, which means the uh, acceleration sensor, the vertical acceleration sensor, is not working. So what I'll do now is, this is not, a, it, is, it could be a circuit problem, it's not a sensor fault. So what I'll do now is, I'll take the sensor at the left side and plug it in, in the right side to see if this voltage will change. If it changes to the normal voltage that is supposed to be around one point something, then I'll know that my vehicle is okay. So with this one, you can see the speed is giving me. So anytime you are driving, the echo goes off. Uh, other terrain settings goes off. So it doesn't allow you to select any terrain apart from the comfort. So what I'll do now is I'll swap the sensor to the right side and check if it's from the sensor. But from this one, I know it's not from the sensor. It's a circuit problem because I've disconnected the sensor and it's still not working and this one I've disconnected the sensor and I'm getting 5 volt because of the uh, reference voltage uh, sorry because of the sensor signal so you can now see the sensor so I'll remove the sensor and send it to the right side and see if I'll get it to change the voltage then I'll know that I'm attacking the circuit so this is the acceleration sensor so I'll plug it in to the right side and go and check my live data if everything is okay. Beside the other one, so I'll go and check the voltages and see if everything is okay. Then I ch check the circuit. So plug it, plug it in. You can see the sensor is working. It's around 1.9 volts, and this one is still stuck at 0 0.8. So I'll try and see why it's still stuck at that point. Let me turn the key and turn the ignition on and the other one is still there and this one is not changing. So what I'll do now is, so anytime it happens, you can see this P, the car, now I can switch it from here to Echo. The Echo will stop working. Now I can switch it to Echo to all the terrains that I want and it works. But any time the fault comes, the terrains do not work again. So now I'll try and test the circuit and see what, what is going on. So I'm measuring the voltage on the other side so that when I go to the other side, I'll know the voltage to measure. So sensor signal is at this point and let me see. So this is 5 volt. So that means sensor signal is on pin 3 and pin 2 is pin 1 is uh, pin 1 is sensor uh, power supply then pin 3 is signal. So I'll go and measure it at the other side and see why it's behaving that way. Now what I'll do is I'll try and measure the voltage. But before I'll try and measure the voltage, you can see on this wire, on this wire, you can see that there is green corrosion in it. On this wire. So what I'll do is I'll tear it off. I'll tear it off and check the other wires also and examine them if they are okay. Then I'll fix everything back. Put it, it got done. So I'll fix the wire and continue the diagnosing and see if I'll be able to identify anything else with the system. So when I come to my sensor also, uh, I'm having ground on the signal wire and
ground on the main ground wire. So now what I'll do is I have to start tracing. I have to start my tracing to see where actually the ground is joined together. Tracing to the back here, I'm able to identify that there is the chassis control unit. So I've taken the socket out, but I'm getting continuity from the front there to the back here on one of the socket, which is the height sensor but for the astrometer i'm not getting any continuity so one two three you can hear the beeping sound that means from here to the back of it is working so now i have to trace for the astrometer sensor and see if i could get the continuity so i have to start testing from the wiring to the back here and see where the break is where i'm not getting the connection so i'll do that so with this one uh, on the height sensor i'm getting the continuity to the uh, sensor with to the chassis uh, control unit so let me probe it into this pin and also test it so if i don't get the continuity so you can see this is the brown and white wire this is the brown and white wire and I've tested from this part, I've taken everything, I've tested everything to this part. So now from from this side to this side, that's where the issue is. So let me check it again and see if I'll be able to find the, uh, the beeping on any of the units coming. So let me test on the unit and see if I'll be able to get it here. So if I'm not able to get it on any of these pins, then that means I have to start opening the wires. So with the small pins, but now I know that the astrometer, uh, the height sensor is working. So, but the problem is the moment you plug in the height sensor, it gets to the Astrometer since I start giving it voltage, so I'll do that one also. And there is no beep. That means there is no continuity. So I have to check. I have to continue from the wiring check then get to this point and know what to do. Uh, several hours of diagnosing and tracing the wiring. I came to find the two brown wires and I tested everything and the continuity was okay. You can see the left front height sensor is 0 0.6 so with that which means it doesn't need to cause any alarm for the vehicle you can see the other ones are around 2.4 2.3 2.3 and you can see this one is around 0 0.6 so let me select this height sensors and select the velocity so what what happens is whenever you are driving and you drive it for long then this uh, is supposed to you you are you should you should be able to use the you should be able to use the um whenever you are driving you see this uh, terrains you should be able to change it but now i can ch now i can change the terrains I can change them because anytime you start to drive, you can see now it has gone off. So that means I can't change the terrains to echo or any of them. It's due to this. So you can see that now I am having left front, left front to be 0 0.8 and left front uh, speed, uh, left front height sensor also to be 0 0.6. Both of them are using the same brown wires. So when the car got an accident and we worked on it, uh, these two brown wires, we, we joined them together. But I've diagnosed, I've taped it, sold it and da done everything and uh, I've come back to it. Because anytime you are driving when it is at echo, it switched from echo to the normal terrain, comfort terrain, instead of it remaining at echo. It doesn't remain at echo. So I've diagnosed it severally and I've checked continuity from the back to the front and everything is okay. But the whole issue is the wire has interchanged because there are two brown wires, they have interchanged. So now 
you can see when I disconnect this wire that means this wire doesn't carry any signal because with the height sensor the moment you disconnect it it goes to zero and with the and with the acceleration vertical acceleration sensor the moment you disconnect it it goes to five so you can see now i'm disconnecting the other brown one and the moment i disconnect it you can see the vertical uh, the vertical acceleration sensor has gone to five and the left front height sensor has gone to zero but when i connect them when i connect them together you can see now both of them have changed again 0 0.6 to 0 uh, 0.6 and 0 0.8 so it doesn't report any fault but the only time the fault comes in is a performance issue because at this point uh, the accelerometer sensor is not reading properly so the vehicle doesn't see it to be working properly so what i'll do now is now i'm coming to swap the wires so now you can see the, this was connected to this and this also was connected to this but what i'll do now is i'll not measure the voltage but rather i'll swap the wires back because both of them are brown wires brown and white wires and those are the two brown and white wires so now that i'm swapping you can see the now that i've swapped the vertical accelerometer and taking it to the right position you can see it has changed so that means that side has been fixed so now let me fix the height sensor also so now let me fit let me fix the height sensor also so when I fix the height sensor, I bring it together. You can see now the height sensor is around 2.8. That, that is how it works. So that means that one pulls the voltage up and the other one pulls the voltage down. So now what I'll do is, because I found my error or my mistake, I'll rejoin the wires and pack everything and tape everything and go for try and see if it will still remain at echo or it will move from echo whenever i place it at economic mode then i'll, I'll tell the customer but for now the work is done and you can see i'm getting the right voltage after swapping the wires thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so now i'm going for a try and because of that i can switch the mode to echo or to dynamic or to any of them and it's working so now I'll switch it to echo and go for try and come back switch it to echo and check the voltages everything is working perfectly so I'll try the vehicle and see if it will happen again long try now everything is successful and it's still the same thing and the program select is still on echo so i can choose any of them dynamic or comfort or maybe put it at auto to check the performance so now everything is done and thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos and when you put it at dynamic you get more boost and it's still the same thing and the car is running so i'll fix the radar and that emergency thing will go off the emergency braking thing will go off i've done the radar already so i'm waiting for the client to bring the radar in